All right, let's talk about the four and one Detroit Lions. I mean, look at the you know the uh, the group that they are in with uh, out of the four and one or five and zero club. The Eagles and Niners are the only five and zero teams left, and then it's the Miami Dolphins, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Detroit Lions. That's it. Pretty good company so far to start the year, and you know they're not just winning some of these games; they're destroying opposing teams in some of these games. This was a, just a fun fun watch, a uh, really fun tape to break down. Uh, you know this play. It's going to be a simple play, right? You're going to have this play action. Receiver runs a route over the middle, hopefully gets into a gap in coverage. But it's just such a well-oiled machine. And, you know, a lot of the best sort of, uh, you know, not all the best offenses, but the best of these kind of offenses, of the ones that are built around run the ball, run play action, you got to get these perfect. You can't just be okay at this. You have to be honestly great at this. And the Lions are amazing at this. Watch as when Goff runs this play action, you have a cornerback who's going to be crashing in. So, you know, there's pressure here for Goff. But, I mean, you know, you see that window. You see you have a receiver who can, you know, try to you know, sit down where it can be the widest. Look at this timing from Goff. They're able to pick up a first down. It's simple. It's easy. But, man, is it effective for the Detroit Lions. And these are the kind of things that you just like to see if you're a Lions fan. It, it, you don't want to make it difficult, right? You don't want to have to make these incredible your receivers to make incredible catches. Just scheme them open so they can get wide open. And while the play calling of Ben Johnson is going to get a lot of credit in this video, also the receivers have to run the right routes to get this open. Offensive line has to block. You have to sell the play action. Players have to make it happen as well. And Goff has to time it well. And they all did that. But they all did what they were supposed to do. Something like this is another good example where, you know, one thing you're going to notice is that uh, defensive lineman jumped off sides in a pretty weird way, too, where he basically just jumped, like, uh, straight up off sides, almost like he was trying to step on, like, a bug as he's doing it. But anyway, he's off sides, so that's nice. You have a situation where zone coverage, you have, you know, that route on the outside, but these aren't always the easiest of routes to get open. However, when Goff takes the snap, he says, okay, well, we have a free play. I'm going to push the ball down the field. And you see, I mean, it's open, but you do have to get it over the corner. And this is something that I think a lot of quarterbacks, especially like younger quarterbacks, which Goff isn't, but, you know, uh, some younger quarterbacks can struggle at like just knowing you have to really push it over the cornerback. And, you know, hey, I mean, talking about the age thing. Maybe to some degree, a lot of players would say, like, or a lot of teams would say, hey, we don't want to go with Jared Goff. We want to draft a young guy, try to get higher upside. Well, this is the advantage of getting a guy who's, you know, been in the league for a minute now. He's 28, not, you know, 50, but like, you know, he's been in the league for a minute now. He kind of understands how these things work. And you can see him push the ball over and are able to pick up a decent completion there. So, you know, again, good stuff, good, you know, well ran route, all of that stuff. Josh Reynolds, who, you know, is having a, you know, good year for sure for Detroit. But, you know, that's just one of the things they're able to do is, you know, make 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 the simple stuff. And sometimes it's make the not so simple stuff look simple, make the more difficult plays look easy with where you're putting the football. And then sometimes it's stuff like this, where one of the things I think Ben Johnson does such a good job of isn't necessarily like, oh, he just, you know, being able to figure out a way to make terrible players get open. Sometimes it's kind of just giving your players a higher likelihood of being able to win their matchups, giving them easier matchups that they can win because they're talented players. This play, it's going to be a play action, and you're going to have Josh Reynolds go over the middle, but one of the key reasons why you do this stuff isn't just to set up that play earlier, where you get someone wide open, you kind of can have a window to make that throw. That helps. That's fun. That's not, that's not the only reason you do this. Watch how when this play begins, you see that Goff does run this play action, and for Reynolds, who's you know moving towards the top of the screen, okay, you know there's a bit of a, bit, a bit of separation, sure, but look at who's covering him. That's number 49 for the Panthers. Anytime someone whose number is in the 40s is covering you, you feel okay. It's it's Frankie Louvu, uh, who's the guy who's, uh, you know, uh, making, who's in coverage right here. This is a linebacker, of course. Uh, so, you know, that's usually, you know, linebackers are usually the ones wearing that number. And now when you have, you know, I think in this game, your best receiver going up against a linebacker, that's just a massive mismatch. And it's one of those things where it's like, well, you know, you could say, oh, bad defense by Carolina. You know, what are you doing having this happen? The other aspect here, though, is if you don't do this, well, then you're completely playing something that isn't your game, and you're going to ask people to do things they're not used to doing. So it's like, do you completely change your defense when you're playing the Lions? I kind of think the answer is yes, but there's still benefits there. Now, again, all this is very good, but 
this play is not over, right? I mean, sure, you have a good situation. You got a, your favorite receiver on a linebacker. At the same time, though, like, you still have to go out and make the play. Like, the, you know, offensive play calling can only get you to here. Then the players have to come through. Watch as Goff is going to off his back foot, still be able to get the throw over there because there was some pressure. But you know, because of this, you're able to get to this spot and then also watch what uh, Josh Reynolds is going to do. Watch him move towards the inside, picks up a little bit more yards, nothing crazy. But again, it, it, every little bit helps, right? I mean, that stuff does build up if you can make that kind of thing happen. So it's just, it's really good football here from the Detroit Lions. And it's just, it's simple, but it's, it's very effective. Of course, we got to talk about the running game a little bit. Uh, never mind the thing that's saying Sam Laporta. That's not really relevant here. That's just uh, the broadcast had that on there. So that's all that is. But this is going to be David Montgomery, who, you know, a lot of people are upset about the fact that you know, Jameer Gibbs has not gotten a lot of carries. At the same time, though, like Montgomery's looked awesome since he's been, been there. So at the end of the day, the Lions have got what they wanted, which is good running back play, regardless of who's the one doing it. Well, what we're going to see here is actually a rare, not great block by a Detroit Lions offensive lineman. It's the left tackle here. Watch out. Carolina edge rusher does a good job of getting that uh, inside leverage really quickly, getting in position to right where the gap that you want uh, that Montgomery wanted to go to. Now we kind of can't. It's going to be a little bit hard to see here, but watch this move Montgomery is going to pull off. Where I'll explain it first, uh, just to make it easier to see. He's going to fig as though he's going right up the middle, but then jump to the outside. And watch out. He causes that defender to fall down. Uh, he completely you know, goes down. Uh, that's, you know, sort of breaking ankles right there. And that defender, Brian Burns, basically the Panthers' best defensive player, uh, who he's doing that to. So this is just really, really impressive stuff. How much value does a running back have? Well, on that play, a good chunk, because that was third down and six and short and in run the clock out mode. But you know, turns a third down and six, what would have been like a fourth down and five into just a straight up first down and goal. That obviously adds value. Like this plays another one where it's going to be the uh, the defensive back there for Carolina. He's the main guy to watch. And this time, it's not even Montgomery who is you know really good. This is actually going to be Craig Reynolds who's going to run this play. Where watch what happens. As you see, Goff is going to take the snap. He gives the ball to Reynolds. You have a defensive back coming in ready to make a play. But watch Reynolds sidestep him, gets to the outside, and I also love, you know, I'm going to pause it here, you see a great block on the edge, so that's always nice when you get the receivers coming in and blocking, and then you see the speed of Reynolds to get up to a top speed, get the ball inside the five-yard line right there, you know, uh, Reynolds had a touchdown on the day as well, so really good rushing here by the Detroit Lions, really good passing, really good football from them and this is just you know something that's been very very interesting to see I am fascinated in seeing how this is going to work against Tampa Bay next week uh you know I do wonder a little bit of you know playing against a really good running defense uh you know you got guys like Vita Vea and you know De Devin White for all his faults can chase a guy down and you know Levante David obviously very good I think that's a really interesting matchup and how well that can work but as a whole, I mean, it's pretty much working against everybody with the exception of, I would say, Kansas City did a pretty good job at limiting this offense. But other than that, Lions offense is looking good. Lions defense is looking good. Lions are for real, uh, and they're showing it right now. So, yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on Detroit. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.